Okay. Justice for Salome. Who killed Salome? Justice for Salome. The women are not only pained about the incident, but are also worried about the effect of it on women participation in politics. We need to find out, we need to know who killed this woman, because we don't know who is next. And until we continue to ask these questions, then we're not really doing ourselves any, any favor. The one the perpetrators brought to book. And all this happened without a single arrest. We are sad. The fact that women have been attacked is not a joke and should be thoroughly investigated and those who are perpetrators should be brought to book. But as it is, um, the practice of democracy is becoming threatening because um, people are no longer protected, they are afraid. We the Independent National Electoral Commission's INEC accredited observers for the Kogi and Bayesa, who were at a separate venue joined to condemn the killing saying that they are worried about the level of violence in the two states, despite huge deployment of security personnel for the elections. Even the military in this instance will tell you not to get close to certain communities. Communities that were sacked due to violence, including their various traditional rulers and kings, were living mostly in Yenegua town as IDPs, and they could not vote they were denied of exercising their franchise. There was a disconnect of the security architecture of the 2019 governorship elections in Bayelsa State and the reality on ground as observed by our coalition as violent crimes, conspiracy to sabotage the nation state of Nigeria was displayed with, without recourse to laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria nor the fundamental human rights of citizens. The coalition of, therefore called for a probable result, particularly from units where there were massive violence. Oge, Ihimekme, AIT News, Abuja.